All right, everyone. So welcome again to another episode of the Because Football Podcast. This is the first episode where I'm we're in the official Because Football shirt or mayo or camiseta or tricot presented by Icarus Football, beautiful kid here. So very happy to, to represent. And today we have a returning guest. This is the first ever guest who has been on two episodes of, uh, of Because Football. So we're very happy to welcome back Monsieur Jorez Drogba of the Cote d'Ivoire, our journalist friend who is covering uh, the AFCON tournament and is returning to our podcast to share a review of an amazing event, an amazing tournament. So, uh, Jorez, welcome and bienvenue on call. Uh, thanks, uh, Coach Andrew, and uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here. Thank you. Jorez, again, welcome to another episode. And, and first, um, I'm going to give you a, a very difficult question, okay? Can you describe the AFCON tournament, but only in three words. You can only use three words. What three words are you used to describe this past AFCON tournament in the Cote d'Ivoire? Three words for this best AFCON ever and ever organized. First word was uh, amazing. Amazing. Okay. Second word is uh, fantastic. And last words is original. I, would, I thought you would say your three words be coup de marteau. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, coup de marteau is, uh, is the, 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 the sing, uh, is a song, okay? Is a song. Yeah. Uh, here is, is for example, uh, the this, this song. From Coupe de Calais, okay. Coupe de Calais is uh, a, 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 a for lack of a example, Coupe de Calais is a style of music here in Africa, so urban okay. music. Okay, this is the urban, the main urban music here in Coupe de Calais, and Coupe okay. is is the song, okay, uh, released uh, in, in the last uh, last year, okay, last year months, uh, is one of the the, the best tunes. According to the Afghan, after the, yes. the 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 official the official song, the releasing of the Afghan, exactly. But Kudimato come and break this yeah. uh, this uh, influence about uh, Kudimato is uh, the, the yeah. song. It's, it's very it's very dense. It's very um it's very uh it's very good for for this young young generation. And yeah. everyone like it, okay. The everyone naturally, they they like uh, dancing, they like play, they like uh, enjoying. And Kurimato came to to give them joy, to give them uh, during this uh, okay the 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 bad stats, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. because when they, they start yeah. bad, when you they hear and dance Kurimato, they forget, okay. They they have problems. This is kind of dance, okay. Uh, we which can, uh, for example, uh, help us to forget our problems, but we, yes. we 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 hear that, and when we danced, it's like it's very funny by dancing. Oh yeah, Uri Mato again. One hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, like, of course, there was the official song for the the the, the tournament, the Aquaba song, which was a great song. I love that. They played it after every goal. You know, they played the the Aquaba song. You know, in the in, in the the introduction of the players. Sometimes, you know, very often. And it's a great song. But then the the coup de Matos song is more like like you said, more local of the the local young Ivorian generation. And you know, it's a very fun dance. You know, the chorus like bump bump bump. So you can you know move your your body and stop it and pop and lock at each each moment and, and and online you would see every everyone all over africa and even like the african players in europe like in the dressing rooms and the, the, you know at their clubs in in france or in italy and belgium and, and in england all doing the dances and and singing the song uh, so it really was like a big sensation and and like you said i would see the ivorians of course dancing when they were happy to celebrate 
But even after a loss or after a difficult, uh, you know, difficult matches, uh, it was a way for them to forget their problems, forget the the losses quickly and just to, to celebrate and enjoy. So it was definitely, uh, I think, a, for me, it was like a big story of the tournament it was just that song. And you hear it everywhere now, uh, all over Instagram and Facebook and WhatsApp and, and everything. So it's, it's really amazing. Um, but for you, you got a much more official experience of the tournament as well. You know, I saw that you were in all of the, the official uh, media boxes, you know, with the, the press and all of the media. This Afghan uh, uh, gathers uh, many okay, journalists who comes from everywhere to at least uh, two or three three uh, thousand we were very uh, many to cover this uh, afghan according to journalists for example some difficult um, for example uh, to to cover the match or for example in Boake, uh, okay uh, mm -hmm. in, in the Cody war center there Boake or Korogo, uh, San Pedro, for example, there's, there's, there's cities which uh, welcomes, uh, what we wish us, okay, the Afghan, it was very difficult because the, the, the majors, the, the majors coaches you know, were, for example, were not available for us. Okay, but no transportation well, or anywhere to go to those then, cities. We, we, for transportation, okay. We, transportation, we we used to 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 use our uh, our own money, okay, to to pay transportation, to to pay our transport to to come in this uh, in this uh, cities uh, to cover the matches. Mm -hmm. And another difficult, uh, for example, the media tickets. Okay, this is an example of media tickets. You see. Okay. okay. This for mix zone, for media center, okay, media centers, and for media tribune. For example, when we come to the stadium, for example, to cover the match, media tribune is not there. Okay, uh, they they are, they are not they are not full in this uh, stadiums. And some of some of uh, us, for example, stay in the media center to work. They 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 are not allowed to to come to the media tribune to to see the match mm. even they have they have the the for example the the, the, the CAF media channel uh, media uh, ticket confirmation you now in this uh, phones they are not uh, they they can't uh, uh, watch or cover the match directly so you could go example, in the stadium uh, for example right like you could go like every stadium had the media center right like the the, the meeting space where you can work, you can write your articles, you can record things, but then they did not accept the tickets sometimes for the Tribune. The tri Tribune is like in the in the seats, right? In the stands to like watch the match, right? So you could go into the stadium, but you cannot watch the match. Is that right? Do I understand you right? Yes. Yes, we, we have some problems, okay, uh, in with journalists and for example, the, the, the tickets, media tribune tickets, was, for example, were not available. And it was very difficult for us to to act to, to have access, okay, to the media tribune. When we arrive, for example, the, the seats are, are very uh, are not uh, available. Okay, so most stadiums you could enter the media tribune, but the you know the the traditional stadium in Abidjan, Felix Hufe Boni, uh, that was was a challenge. Um, you know, where, where were some of these other journalists from? Of course, I'm sure many were from Cote d'Ivoire, but but uh, I know there was a, a global, you know, this AFCON, they say, was the most popular, had the most viewers on television, the most interest, you know, the, of any AFCON before it, right? And and of course, that's because of the, the performances on the pitch and the stories and, you know, many underdog and Cinderella teams that, that perform well and some of the big teams that underperformed. So with your other colleagues in the press, where were some of these people from? I met Chinese, I met um, Japanese, uh, I agree with them, okay, in, this, in the language. Yeah, you I met Japanese, Italians, right? okay, I, I met, uh, oh, from uh, journalists from Uganda, from 
Congo, from uh, from United States, from uh, Colombia, from from France. Oh, from uh, according to my contact, I get around uh, uh, around around. 96, 96 contacts of journalists. New contact? Okay, uh, wow, from all over the world. <laughs> yes, 96, okay. Yeah. Different nationality. And uh, they, they are very, okay, uh, we can count from from Cambodia, from Indian, wow. Asian journalists, they come, okay. But European journalists was, was, uh, were very, very uh, motivated, were very, uh, represented in this Africa. Okay, uh, very good. Uh, and so before the tournament, when we spoke on the first episode, which everyone can find on our, our Spotify, our YouTube, our Apple Podcasts channels, uh, Google Podcasts, you can find that episode. Um, that was episode number. Let me so 22 was your first episode uh, with us. So everyone can go check the, the preview if they'd like to see. You know, we, we talked a lot about the history of AFCON and, and of Cote d'Ivoire as well and why it was so unique. But but you told me it would be a, a very chocolated AFCON, right? A very sweet uh, AFCON tournament. Was that the case? Was was that the experience for the Ivorian people? Was it was it a sweet experience or maybe like, you know, before you make the chocolate, you have the cocoa. And I think the the cocoa can be a little bit bitter, right? So I think that sometimes it was a little bit bitter for the tournament, but mostly sweet. So tell us, uh, tell us the feelings, tell us the experience of uh, of the Ivorian people during this tournament. There are 30, 30 millions of Ivorian, okay? 30 millions of Ivorians, 30 million uh, coaches. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, I saw that in the stand. Yeah, exactly. In the stadiums too. Yeah. Thirty, thirty millions of coaches. Now we have. This is Ivorian. Uh, like uh, okay, the 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 twelve, the twelve man. Okay. Yeah. On the pitch, it's true that is that is not on the pitch, but in the tribune, you see. Okay, during the the afternoon. so. And uh, before the the the, the kickoff of this Afcon, I said that everyone are very are uh, very uh, motivated to to host this Afcon. Uh, Cote d'Ivoire is a, a hospitality earth and peace land. We we love people. We we have around uh, we have. All, all people live in Africa, for example, all nationality. Is mm -hmm. for yeah, us. very diverse country, yeah. Nationalities are here in Africa. Okay, we are we are colored of many ethnics, many peoples. Okay, we, we welcome Africa, okay. But now, um, uh, before the Afghan, okay, people, uh, because we have some problems okay with these organizations for example the the the, the jersey prices the original jersey prices for example uh many uh we have probably got problem with, with that and uh the the chart list the chart list of uh the coach okay john louis Gasset, okay mm -hmm. our uh yeah like his coach. team selection okay, right when yeah. he okay, yes when after selecting his team, people say that ah, oh, where why Refresa is not in this in this cheat? Why why is not in this list? This is uh, our best player. Why? But everyone was very angry about this this uh, list. They were they were very uh very anxious. They were very very uh, worried. And uh, when we 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 won our first match against. Uh, so Guinea for the opening match. We say, okay, let's see the, the next match against Nigeria. But mm -hmm. we lost against Nigeria. Yeah, that was uh, at that match. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And uh when we when we lost uh, I in the tribune I, I I saw okay some supporters who 
was very, 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 very angry. They say, oh, this, yeah, this coach upset. is not good. According to, because um, Gradel didn't play, uh, they, okay, they, the top players. Yeah, what were some of the, the complaints? Because, like, of course, of course, uh, Gasset, he, after the third game, after the, the Equatorial Guinea match, the 4-0 loss, he was out, you know, which is unheard of. It's so, it never happens. The coach is fired during the tournament. It's very rare. Um, and they didn't know if it would be out. But, like, what were some of the problems they said with, with Gasset in particular? Because for me, I had some ideas. I had some perspective um, of my own opinions. But but what were the Ivorian people saying? Like during this these two years, first Ivorian said that's why this this coach didn't live in in Ivory Coast. He he lived in France. From France, he gave the the the, the list. People said that oh, it's not it's not uh, it's not it's not possible. It's not good, and his his salary was very. Very high, okay. Mm -hmm. Is one of the the, the most uh, he gets yeah, one, one of the highest paid, one of the yeah. most higher salary. Yeah. Okay. It's very uh, it's, it's very it's very high. Okay. According to this type of coach, this coach is is for example according to his with statistic, he have okay gets more defeats, okay more mm -hmm. defeats than. Not a good, uh, not a good record. Yeah, not a good history. It's not good. It's not good. So then, as we, we know lost, now, the we lost again. We lost against Equatorial Guinea. After yeah, the four, yeah. The four down four against Equatorial Guinea was a a night a disaster. I was watching the game. I felt so so heartbroken, so sad for the people because I know, like, I was in Abidjan for a week. I, I saw the passion. I saw the energy. I saw how happy people were to host the tournament. I saw the the celebrate. I heard the celebrations for every match. Like like of course everyone wanted Cote d'Ivoire to win, but like every match, I would hear outside my hotel or which we're driving around, we'd see the the restaurants, the the maquis. Like everything was was full of people for every match. Right there was just such a a clear passion, a clear love for football the whole time, and so. Yes. For for four nil against Equatorial Guinea at home, like it, it's very rare that a host nation will lose a match with such a bad score, right? With such a poor result, and the performance was not very good either. So, so we had the four nil, and everyone is heartbroken and crying and sad. Yes, well, we were very very. Is what is yes is like a morning when we lost yeah. like a four a national four nil morning, again. Yeah. Yes. We lost. This is the the the, the pure the, the the worst performance of Ivory Coast in Afcon. When I look in the stadium, okay, some people, okay, some people, some uh, some of them died. Okay, for example, uh, some of them are uh, at attacks and uh, some people, accidents. You said people, people actually died in the yes. stadium. You said. Yeah. No, not I in the stadium. Okay, but were people they, uh, watching at home, home and... or in in the fan zones? Yeah. Yes, some some of some people died. And though this was very very uh, shocking. Yeah, it was an awful day for the you know for for the country you know for a defeat like that, especially in an important match where they really needed a result to be sure to advance. Uh, against a team that was one of the big surprises for the tournament. Uh, of course, Equatorial Guinea couldn't really go farther in the knockout rounds but but you know with uh, that the golden boot score just from those matches and and really surprised surprised the world um but yeah it sounds like that that day you know of course there's a lot of negative emotions there's the disbelief just not believing this sounds like like you said there's a lot of disillusionment like all that the country sacrificed to host the tournament uh, like you said, all the the businesses and and different homes and people who were affected by a lot of the development projects uh, that that were needed to build stadiums, to build roads, and and improve the uh, the infrastructure. And so it's like a feeling of what is this all for? If if our team is going to go out there and not perform and not really even come close to to fighting, you know. Um, so so it came down to you know 
the, the, the team was almost out of the tournament, right? It was the Gasset was fired. He left his role, um, but it was still unsure. And then, you know, the last day of the group stages, uh, the, like Morocco, Morocco helped the Les Elephants. So can you explain like <laughs> how about that day, right? I'm sure that was a celebration, right? And I saw even in the, the, the final, you know, everyone with the, the Morocco flags, because they understood, like the, the people knew that without the Morocco result, then uh, the, the elephants would be finished. The, rena the relationship between Morocco and Cote d'Ivoire is, is a love story. It's not a love story, it's yeah. Very it's because football, story. they're in love. Because, yeah, love it. Yes, yes. yes. Morocco is uh, the, the, the biggest favorite of this outcome. I, I said that. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're a huge favorite. Their success in the World Cup, you know, they, they have a strong team, and and yeah, they were they were expected to be there at the end for yeah. sure. Yes. World Cup in Afghan is very different. Okay, playing World Cup is playing Afghan is is more difficult for that than play a uh, uh, World Cup against Zambia. Zambia, okay, okay. Yeah. one one nil uh, goals uh, from Ziyech. I came Ziyech when he scored. Okay, uh, everyone's uh, celebrates. Say that when they 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 win. Okay, they say that uh, let's celebrate because uh, this is a miracle for us. Mm -hmm. We are we this is this is a great the greatest miracle of 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 Ivorian football. We we call that uh, the 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 Ivorian miracle. Because uh, we we come alive again in order to 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 go far to go further in this uh, in, the, in this Afcon and we in this Afcon you know the Morocco's performance helped the elephants in a very unlikely way and so it's it's just so fascinating and great to see and uh, all the 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 Ivorians celebrating with the Morocco flags at all of the matches after that I think it's a uh, you know, a great, a great bromance of football, if we can say, or a love story, as you said, it's fantastic. And then, so then, so against all the odds, Cote d'Ivoire gets through uh, to the next round, but they are drawn against Senegal, right? And Senegal, is the, the returning, the reigning champion, um, I saw Senegal play against Cameroon, um, and watched all of most of their matches, uh, at least part of their their matches. And to me, they looked like the best team in the tournament. You know, Senegal just looked so so fluid with the ball, so energetic. You know, they they were dangerous in many ways um, throughout the tournament. So it was not an easy an easy opportunity for for the elephants. But Ivory Coast did it. They got it done in penalties. Right. Um, you know, massive. Uh, Massive game performance. Frank Kessie with with two goals, right? Uh, two penalties. Someone say that. Uh, so Frank Frank Kessie, he he was like even as a kid, he was like the legend of penalty kicks, right? Even in uh, uh when he was growing up, was it was it is he from Yopagon or where in in Abidjan where he was from? And he's one of the best uh, at penalties, even as a young kid. Yeah, Frank Kessie is a uh, we we call uh, his his nickname is. Uh... Is a Zebizeku, a Zebizeku Panther. Okay, Zebizeku is a his his village name. Eh? Okay. Okay. We call him like uh, Zebizeku Panther. Zeb so okay, the Panther of Zebizeku. Okay. Yes, <laughs> but but the the games of uh, against uh, Senegal, I was very afraid, very afraid before yeah, the game. Dangerous team. I, 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 Yes, I, I felt defeat automatically when I say when I, I saw the 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 start list okay of of Senegal, Mane, Lamin Camera, Kripenjata, uh, into the, the, the goal we have uh, Edouard Mendy uh, in, according to the defense, we have uh, the, the ministry of defense, uh, Kalido Kuribali. But I was fear. Okay, I was, I was very, very, very afraid. I said, ah, these these lions are very, very ferocious, ferocious, according to to the Yamsukro Stadium. So we heard the the the, the Senegal supporters, the Senegalese supporters, 
according to the drum, the beat drum. Mm -hmm. boo, 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 yeah. the whole time. Well, yes, there's, there's themes are. Okay, we are fear. Say, oh, where is where are Ivorians? Because you you feel you felt that in the stadium we are, for example, we are we we are in we are in Dakar. Not we are in Africa, but mm -hmm. yeah, the atmosphere. Yeah. Yes, the atmosphere yeah, is like we were bossing. We were, yes, we are. We were in Senegal, but we are in Africa. Okay, we are okay. Supporters drumming or beating drumming beat was very very difficult. It's like uh, a hell. Okay, this is the match. Which announced the tournament. This announced this motivated. This yeah. change the the, the the spirit of yeah, huge all turnaround. this of the of this seven players selected. They are they they transformed. Okay, like like uh, when you when you interviewed okay the the players when you look the eyes you see you 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 saw fires in their eyes. Okay, when after this win against uh, this match against uh, Senegal, they were very, very motivated to. After that win, do you think the people thought, oh, we can win everything now, we can be the champions? Or or were, were the Ivorian people still unsure of, of, of the, the turnaround? Or do you think people started to really think of themselves as they can win? Or, or what was the, the opinion and the feeling for the people after the Senegal victory? We come alive, and the team spirits was very high. Mm. And playing against Senegal was the most, the most exciting experience. Against Mali, whew, against Mali, we we have we have, okay, we we were that very game, uh, yeah. lucky. Yeah, lucky, I didn't lucky. I didn't get to watch. I did watch Senegal match, but I did not get to see much of the Mali match. I saw like the last two minutes. Uh, of of extra time, um, but but for the Mali match, like you have, ninetieth minute, Adingra scores to tie, and then in the last minute, two minutes of stoppage time, Diakite or more Diakite scores Diakite. scores to to win the match. So so not only last minute to tie the match and go to extra time, but then last minute to win it. I I can't imagine. You know the, of course, the the celebration of the Senegal victory was big in those penalties, but but in the same match, two last minute, last chance goals. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah. You know, some teams only get that once in a tournament. You guys had it twice in the same game. W did everything just like instantly go into flames? Like everything was just on fire and everybody was going crazy. We are very proud of this team, but we must. Um... Honored, okay, uh, MS5 because his choice, choices, according yeah. to his first match against Senegal, he make uh, some the best substitutes that Gassé uh, failed. Yeah. The best substitutes, for example, to, to, for example, uh, to, to rest uh, Frank Kessier and play with uh, uh, Seri Jean Michel or yeah, um, Seri I think made a big difference. Seri I think was they needed the, him. The, the, yeah, yeah, he controlled the game. Yeah, yes, Kessier, Kessier okay, uh, sitting on, on the bench mm -hmm. is, is, is incredible. It's incredible because Frank Kessier, Frank Kessier is a he's a legend. Uh, right? the, one, one of the, the best midfield midfield in Africa. Okay, and starts. Without Kishi, huh, we must have mentality to to rely to realize to realize uh, this. Uh, okay, in the match, uh, in the extra times, Majakiti have uh, this this kind of player uh, which okay uh, plays very well in the wing or on yeah, the wing. Yeah, one v one. Yeah, okay. really aggressive, really yeah. creative, attacking. Yeah. Same like Adingra, they were really attacking, dribbling like uh, Adingra also. Okay, and he played. It's true that this we have Adengra was injured and uh, Sebastian Aller was injured, but we, okay. we we say to this to uh fire that play with this guy, play with this guy, play with this guy. It's true that they are not so they are not well, but play with them, play with them. Well, the Crazy. Yeah, and then they went to the semifinal, which I think that was the 
the I know that in the Mali match there's times where Mali was was stronger and then Cote d'Ivoire came back and was stronger. I agree. I think putting Kessier on the bench to start was actually a really positive thing. I think that um, he didn't have any impact in the first group matches. I thought he did nothing. Um, and I also think, of course, having Haller come back was very helpful and important for the team, for the confidence, I'm sure. I think uh, that obviously helped, but I, I agree. I think finding, giving more time to Diakite and, and then Adingra on the side and then bringing Gradel, they had much better play on the wings. Um, like, I think that Nicolas Pepe was up and down a little bit. Um, he didn't really have any finish. He could have scored some goals in the group stage. He couldn't finish. Um, I think, uh, who was, I forget, number 13, who was the other winger. He didn't give as much production. So I think they made a big, big difference. But I think Sari Sari in, in the center midfield was huge. And then when Kessia came in, he was able to, to give more of an impact. I think he was more motivated. And also he he had energy when the other team was, uh, was tiring. So for the Congo match, I watched most of that too. And, and it seemed like Cote d'Ivoire was was controlling for most of it. There, Congo had some time, had some chances, but Cote d'Ivoire was like the first, the first kind of we can say boring uh, victory. You know, scoring in the 65th minute. Um, it was like they were pushing and pushing, but not clear chances. And then Alaire scores the his goal where he kicks it off the ground and it just just goes into the under the bar. So some luck. So so that's the Congo match. So then. You know, we say, OK, we're in the final. And I'm curious, too. I know that the famous chant, the, the, the new cheer of, of the, the Ivorians was the uh, was it on, on on Vaurien. Can you explain the that new cheer um, and what that meant? Uh, you know, literally what it means, but but like kind of the significance to the, the people. When we reach the, the final. And the, the cheer of, of the on Vaurien, on Vaurien, the, the cheer, right? On Vaurien, and I forget the rest something you know like the the fans and everyone was singing you see yeah like when the the fans and everyone was singing the the on vorien on vorien okay 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 yeah. no this this thing everyone is like that eh? for example when when uh he got for example a problem okay okay they they prefer uh okay they prefer start um knocking Mm -hmm. first before before you for example yeah so when, can you uh, explain what the the can you also explain what chant what the meaning of uh, it it seems it, it means uh we are weak we are weaker mm -hmm. okay but we are qualified mm -hmm. okay we, we 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 know nothing but that we we, we we didn't know we, we don't know how to play football but yeah. we are qualified yeah, we're through. Okay. Made it. Just, okay, just okay. Uh, some so, so, sing song, just to, to joke. Okay, to joke uh, and to mock. Yeah, okay, uh, for example, mm -hmm. Cameroonians, yeah. especially Cameroonians, because uh, Cameroonians, they okay. Uh, we 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 play naturally. Are we okay with them, Cameroonian? But when we qualified for, for the semi-final, we, we played against uh, DRC Congo, but Congo, uh, they was very affected and psychologically, mm -hmm. okay, according to the, the, the problem in Goma, in the Congo, the eastern of Congo. Okay, the, okay uh, there are people are dying over there. Mm -hmm. It's normal, okay, but the, the, the CAF, the CAF uh, office didn't accept okay, to, to these teams to, to wear the, the, the black, the, the black uh, things, okay, or these things. Of, In honor of the, normal, those who passed. Normal, yes, don't, don't mistake, okay, don't, uh, don't mix. Okay. We, we remember uh, to, uh, the, this Kabinda history when the Togo bus was shorted by Armed forces, okay. The, before the, the kickoff of the the Angola Afcon, but two Togolese players died uh, in this murder. But the the two Togolese national team retired, and uh, Emmanuel Adibayo and his uh, teammates retired for for the for the for the Afcon. But the Afcon continues. The Afcon continued, 
that don't mix okay uh, political things to football football is universal football is mm -hmm. okay it's peace football is all, all things football gathers uh people in countries but congress okay psychologically they they were very weak okay but everyone's not naturally they they, they were after winning <laughs> after winning senegal the running champion and beating mali okay he was in front of us the congo congo through that congo um, uh, defeat uh, the penalty out okay, they defeat uh, egypt one of the the most decorated okay teams no national teams yeah. Yeah, one of the most successful ever yeah not successful okay teams but we we played against them with uh, a good uh, team spirit uh, tactically we were very we were we, we were uh, very uh, big eh? we we have, we were bigger than than them in all 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 things but for example when i when i looked uh chancel mbemba okay miss okay some, some passes or some things okay i i said that so congo didn't play good today they, we are, we are mm. gonna win them I'm gonna slap them in order to to reach the final. And psychologically, they will. They, they will yeah, not, uh, I mean, I can't imagine trying to play when you have that tragedy happening in your your country. You know, and I, I, it's something I didn't know much about, um, and still don't know too much about. But I know that the players use the the tournament as an opportunity to bring awareness to the genocide that's been happening. I think in the eastern part of the country, uh, and so. When you have that kind of weight, it's amazing that they did go so far to the semifinals, especially because they were not a favorite, um, but they, they had strong defensive performances. They were difficult to beat, um, and that got them forward. But I think that for the match, you know, did did deserve the victory. And then and then we have the final. You have the, the final at, at, uh, at Vimpe Stadium, where it was a rematch of the Group A uh, match day two that Nigeria and, and Cote d'Ivoire rematch. I I was I I did feel I thought Cote d'Ivoire would win because I thought hey they've gone through so much the elephants have have suffered and now they've come back and they have nothing to lose and I but I thought you know with Nigeria they were Nigeria was was very strong in defense um, you know Truce to Kong was was fantastic all tournament and then you have some. Some guy, uh, number nine up front, you know, the man with the mask who could uh, who could strike at any moment uh, and, and give problems. In the first match, in the group match, Osimhen was giving so many problems to to the defenders for Cote d'Ivoire. He could have had a goal early, and he was such a handful to deal with. But but yeah, we saw again again challenging adversity. We saw Nigeria going going ahead uh, with with you know the set piece with the corner kick in the thirty eighth minute winning 1-0 at halftime. And then, you know, then uh, the Elephants came back with, with Kessier. Again, I think he had a great performance in the final. Um, and then Alaire with the, the victory. So so what did it feel like for the country, do you think? Like 90 minutes, the whistle blows. You know, what what was the feeling like uh, to say, hey, we are champions, we have the third star? Yes, I remember that uh, as is tomorrow things. And when I look the when i look at uh, the matches is unbelievable okay but we was beaten okay by sm nigeria again during the the during the during the, the group stage of the match for our for the second match day i wear the the same jersey when we lost against mm. nigeria at during the the first match against Nigeria, I look on the sky. I saw many eagles, okay, flying around the stadium. I said, "Oh, this is not a good sign." Not a good sign for the elephants. Uh, if you're playing the, against the super yeah. eagles, you don't want to see eagles in the yeah. sky. Lost uh, against uh, Nigeria, but we lost for the for the first uh, match against Nigeria, but for this final. I say that uh, the the match against Senegal that we won give us uh, many things. But um, Cameroonians, Moroccan, all these people support 
and support us on this day. And the stadium was very crowded and uh, happy, happiness in the stadiums. But normally I say that this game, we, we're going to win this game. But after the penalty shootout, we're going to win on the penalty shootout. Because the game of Nigeria, so Ozimen was very locked by, we have Eva Indica, and this is the, one of the best uh, def young defenders, okay, top top 20 young defenders in Europe. Odilon Kosunu, who is uh, the, the, the the most valuable okay, uh, player in Ivory Coast, according to, to the shortlist mm. before the, the opening uh, match. And after that, um, we have uh, when we were very we were locked, okay. Only uh, Moses Simons and Bruce uh, Pekong, okay, who, who plays in the defense attack, he plays everywhere. Uh, he deserves uh, his prize. He's like the best tournament player. He, he deserves it. Mm -hmm. But normally, according to me, I I I I gave the his prize to us Os during the, the tournament he played with the team for the team okay three three passes okay three passes or two passes for Lukman and Mula and one passes for another uh, yeah because he wasn't scoring goals but he was assisting for, and uh he had to do so point. much work by himself because Nigeria would drop so deep and they were defending so He's playing one well, against two, one against three sometimes. And, you know, even though he didn't score, you saw his quality. It's, a, it's true that uh, I was uh, I was very happy for my elephants by, by okay, inside. I was very, very, very sad for Osman because he was crying in the, in the room. It was very, very difficult. See how difficult that's... Uh, this is life, this is a sport, this is football. Mm -hmm. But when uh, Tuesday come score the first goal, I'm, I'm going to uh, tell you some things. Look, uh, listen, when he scored the goal, there were okay, some Nigerian journalists that were celebrating, dancing in the, in the, in the media tribune. And we, have, we were very sad. Okay, I, I said to, to my brothers that, Look, I'm coming. Okay, to I'm I'm gonna to I'm going to, to the uh, press uh, media center to get my, uh, my coffee, and I take the the lifting and coming, and I I take my food also, and when I came to the stadium, I say, okay, I'm here now. After drinking my tea, we're gonna uh, 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 score the goal, and after that, we're gonna win the match. Say, oh. We are losing the match. In, we are we are losing the match. And you see, I say, oh, when I start, when I finish eating my food, someone, our players, we're gonna score the first goal. But when I take my dish, and uh, when I take my potato, I was eating my potato. Look, this is the corner kick, and Adingra shoot the 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 the, the corner, the corner, uh, and shoot the ball, and Frankie come and make. He had it. Yeah. Say, oh, this he scored a goal. Okay, this is the first. You goal. told them. You predicted. Yeah, but, you and your yes. lucky potatoes. Because I felt this this like closing goal. I I felt it coming, but for Sebastian Ale, I didn't feel it. I said I I, I felt that ready for penalties, ready for extra someone, time. Someone is going. Yes, yeah, someone is going score the goal. But who who is going to score? Because uh, we have. Uh, for example, Siri uh, could uh, score, and um, Gardel could score, Abdengra Jakite, Uma Jakite could mm -hmm. score. But who is going to give us this third start? Look, Abdengra take the, the, the balls uh, on the left left wing, the ball, and Ale make a score like Zlatan. Yeah, it was a Zlatan goal. Yeah, yeah. just a touch, yeah. just enough, just enough. Oh, this is. When he scored a goal, oh, 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 we we were very happy, and we were very happy. Morocco people was were very happier than us because mm. science, things that they did for us, they were, they were very happy. Oh, Sebastian Alex scored uh, the 
the final goal for Arabic goals, ah, very happy, very happy. In the, around the stadium, in the fan zones, we are very, 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 very happy. And after the goal, we were crying in the stadium because this oh, yeah, is our- of course. Our An amazing apple. story for the team yes, we to come really back good. like that. Uh, and for Alair too, personally, like, of course, he was injured at the beginning of the tournament, so he had to come back and get fit. But like two years ago, he was diagnosed with cancer. So the personal journey that he's been on and then for him to, to do that for the country, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy stuff. Um, yes. Yeah, it just, uh, it just seemed like a, for the whole tournament, every like match day, so the first match day, second, third, then group day, like just continued to get more and more intense, more and more crazy. And of course, the, the elephants were at the center of the spotlight. But for so many matches and so many teams, you know, just the games were were unbelievable, um, especially into the group stages. And yeah, I think it was a, an amazing tournament. So we losing you a little bit. Hello, I can see you, but you're like you're turned sideways. Let's see. Hello. Can you okay. hear me? I can hear you. Yes. Good. Nice. But uh, yeah, so, you know, at the end of all the ups and the downs of, of one month of football, the elephants were the champions. And, uh, you know, you, you can look at the many different matches. A lot of people played a role. And of course, the coach, uh, MSFA, you know, had, had such a, an impact in turning things around after the, the debacle with Gusse in the group stages. But uh if you could think ahead, you know, like this is an amazing experience. I'm thinking for if I'm a, if I was an Ivorian boy and I'm nine years old or 10 years old watching this, or I'm a, an older man, I'm 90 years old. You know, what, what do you think is like one moment or one story that will in 20 years and 30 years and in 50 years, when people talk about this tournament, what, what do you think is the one thing that people will really remember? What is the one thing that people will talk about uh, that, that will really live on in the memories of Ivorians? If I was, for example, a, a film director, when I, these scenarios, this episode, this it was very, very, very crazy. Okay? For example, we, if someone tell me that this Afghan we're going to do like this, like this, I didn't believe it. No way. If, if I lay, for example, if I came and I, I give to the to the Paramount Channel or to Golden Airlines or Hollywood uh, director to 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 make okay a movie according to this Afghan before the Afghan imagine the, the scenarios of the Afghan. Yeah, it wouldn't even be this good. Say, they refuse yeah. to say, oh, this is, is very, it's, it's not a good story. Of course, it become the first team, okay, during uh, for the for the cup okay, tournaments to lost two games and win the cup. And change the coach. Okay, to, right, and change the coach. Yes. Win one game to win the cup. Yeah. Okay, we, we, we run about the score five times. I'm starting to, 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 to draw or to, to score a goal. And after that, we, we played like Portugal in 2016 Euro against France. But I will cost this, this Afghan is very special, special Afghan. So, billions and, of persons yeah. watching this Afghan. So, so it's, now it's do more, you think it's, it's more like a, a Super Bowl? Yeah. It's more like Super Bowl. It's yeah. more it's like six yeah. Super Bowls yes, all but together, but very special and things that present the future generation must retain in best is Afcon. This is the best Afcon never organized, and we we saw that before the the kickoff. I said mm -hmm. to you that yeah, this the best organized this will be the, the best. Afcon. The infrastructure, the the, the yeah, stadiums the roads, are unbelievable. All things okay. Okay, twenty four uh, teams national teams and 119 goals scored this is is very higher on uh, 50 uh, 55 matches and after that uh, uh, around um, 2,28 goals per matches after that we have uh, 100 100 uh, 176 cards 
after uh, 13 red cards and uh, 163 yellow cards. Okay, after that, we have uh, 22 penalties. Okay, uh, whistled. And after that, okay, uh, seven, uh, 17 uh, penalties scored. And I say that two, uh, two billions of persons around the world, around uh, mm -hmm. 173 countries watch the, Af the Afghan. And uh, this is the, the, the most watched Afghan never organized. Yeah. Okay. Huge reach so the, everywhere. Yes, and it's the first Afghan. And after that, for the final things, Ivory Coast became, became the ninth, the ninth host country to to raise the the the, 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 yeah, the Afghan yeah. in the same country. And after the, the, the last one was uh, Egypt in uh, uh, 2006, we were in the final. We lost the uh, this final against uh, Egypt after the penalty shootout, but we hope to to, to make this same the same story like uh, Egypt after winning is Afghan. Yeah, go back to back, uh, right? Afghan. The next okay, one three times. <laughs> let's yeah. win our. Let, let's do. So one was three. good. Yeah, let's see the second in row. Yeah, three, I mean, like you said, it's, it's possible. Okay, <laughs> right. Let's start. Well, let's start with one and then two. So let's start with number two. Right. The the good thing is that the next Afcon is in twenty twenty five. So it's going to be about what 16, 17 months away. So that that's good because you keep a similar team, like you said. You have a young team for the Ivorians, or one of the youngest, and you can still keep some of the veteran players. It's not like sometimes in the World Cup where you have a generation where it's the last opportunity for some of the better players, the legendary players, and then four years later they just won't be at their peak. But you have the opportunity to to go again. So I imagine you know. But now you're going to be in the home of your your best friends. Now you're going to be at Morocco. So you might have to to go through and, and, and beat the Moroccan team to lift it in Morocco. So, uh, or may, maybe something will happen where where the Ivorians will help the Moroccans to go forward. Uh, we'll see what the soccer gods have written. But uh, but yeah, it was a, an amazing tournament. Is an amazing experience for me. I agree. The organization, I would say, it was all very for the most part beyond my expectations. The stadiums were beautiful both from uh, you know aesthetic, from the, the energy, the passion, the colors, the, the vibes, everything in the stadiums were, were really excellent. Uh, and it was just a great experience. So Jorez, uh, merci beaucoup uh, for, for visiting again uh, on, on this episode of, of Because Football. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to you next year when we prepare for, for the next AFCON in Morocco as well uh, and see the, the Ivorian perspective. But Thank you so much for joining us uh, and everyone. Thank you for, for watching out there. Make sure to like and subscribe wherever you are viewing us, whether it's YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Please uh, give us a like, a subscribe, and a comment. We appreciate your time and, and Jorez. Merci beaucoup for everything. Thanks a lot. And uh, thanks for going uh, to talk with you about this Afghan the. The chocolate Afghan, the best chocolate Afghan. Yes, Stephen, yeah. very the sweet <laughs> Afghan. Very the, uh, the, the, the the sweetest. Okay, Afghan, mm -hmm. the, the the most delicious Afghan that we yeah. that we tasted. Everybody in the world <laughs> tasted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two point two billion people tasted that Afghan and and would agree. So. Uh, we hope somehow, maybe next year will be better, but yeah, we appreciate, uh, thank you, thank you on, on behalf of all the Ivorian people, I want to thank you and all the Ivorians who uh, were, were hospitable to me, showed their great hospitality to me and to many more people from around Africa and around the world, um, and just, you know, it was just a beautiful thing to experience that and to feel the passion and the love for football uh, in the country, it was just, you know, unbelievable. So I'll be sharing a lot more stories about that, you know, through through the, the YouTube channel and, and more on the podcast too. And uh, felicitations, congratulations for the third star. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely, we'll have to get an update when you get that jersey with the third star there, when you have the official new kit. Okay, thanks a lot and see you uh, for the next time. Because football is Africa, because football is Afcon 23, because football is life only. Thanks and yes. see you next time. Thank you, sir.